Hello everyone, welcome to Zero Labs. Today is Sunday, November 9, 2014. I'm Mark Brash, your host, and this is the update on the Vortex Field permanent magnet motor for November 9. So over the last week I've been trying a number of magnetic arrangements, um, different uh, configurations, different linkage. As you can see in this photo here I now have uh, a set of linkage that allows the, uh, the stator magnet not to rotate but to oscillate back and forth and oddly enough I'm sort of, I'm sort of right back to a very similar model as what I started with in my very first 11 videos on YouTube and if you haven't seen those it, it's kind of a nostalgic look back at zero fossil fuel and zero labs in general it's kind of funny uh, but the uh, the overall concept of where where I have arrived at is very very similar to that first prototype that I made originally and um, what I'm going to show you in this, these next video clips here is a, uh, an attempt to record the difference between the actuation of the lever with the camshaft and connecting rod that I've, that I've built off of the main rotor using the bevel gears that Russ Grease made for me. And uh, this, this uh, oscillating mechanism is by far more refined than the uh, than the uh, ball bearing in the track made out of um, 12 gauge copper wire that I had in my original prototype um, and uh, yeah this um, this uh, prototype here is probably as close as I have ever come to a self runner and uh, let's let's get right into the uh, the test video because what I want to do is with this test video is slow it down on playback and study the motion profiles the difference between when the lever is actuated by the cam versus when I'm actually actuating it entirely by hand what is the difference how, how far out of sync am I uh, am I moving the lever more in a square wave fashion or a sawtooth wave fashion because the the output of the crankshaft is going to be sinusoidal uh, is that the wrong waveform could I possibly achieve a self runner if I had the uh, the drive shaft instead of on a uh, instead of on a crank have it on a cam and and vary the shape of the cam change the uh, change the motion profile of the oscillating stator as it moves back and forth I don't know but uh, let's take a closer look now at the actual actuation of the of the rotor and the cam. Okay, so this is an attempt right now to determine what the difference is in my actuation of this lever because I literally only have to move the lever, as you can see, a very small amount. In order to affect a very large change on the static fields of the rotor going going by it, so what I'm thinking is there is a, an actual shifting of the interaction of the stator magnet fields in relation to the rotor magnet fields, and I've attempted to link the rotor magnet fields to the stator magnet by putting a connecting rod to the cam like like so and I have it timed very carefully where the amount of energy that I need to put into this lever is extremely small 
to get the main drum to spin. And yet I can't get it to self-sustain. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to record this just actuating it by hand and study the relationship of my motion with the hand to the actual sinusoidal motion of the crankshaft that I've created that's geared to the main rotor. So here goes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to retard the position of this lever by one tooth on the main rotor by fixing the position of the main rotor with a wrench and just lifting I happen to know that every half inch is about one tooth, so rotate it like that, set it back down, it's locked into place. And we'll try this again. And it's pretty evident that I'm out of sync right now. So I went in the wrong direction. Yep, I went even further in the wrong direction. So let's go back. All right, I'm going to go back two teeth plus one. So there's one tooth, two teeth, plus one. And I think I was probably closest when we started. So again, I'm just going to use this wrench to affix the position of the pinion gear while I move the rotor back into position. Forget about what this thing is doing. It's reacting to the, uh, to the rotor magnets and it's free spinning.
So the question is, what am I doing with my hand that this crankshaft cannot do driven by the rotor? What am I doing with my hand that's causing this to accelerate that I can't do by simply connecting these two like this Why does it come to a stop? Incidentally, I do have to push quite a bit harder with the drum going in the clockwise direction than I do in the counterclockwise direction because that is how I have the uh, magnets synchronized. And so that's it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I really don't know where, where this project is headed, but I, I know that it's leading me in a, in a direction. Um, I have some other ideas of where I want this project to go, some other ideas that I want to try. One of the, th I still have not given up on the rotary rotational stator magnet, uh, it, but instead of having field magnets in the rotor, with poles that are facing each other that would repel from one another. Uh, my, my vision instead now is having poles that are overlapping like so and move across in this fashion. I'm not sure if that will have any effect but uh, I've got a bunch of magnets that I'll be ordering and I've got a whole lot of other things that I want to try. Even if I, even if I um, fail miserably, I'm going to leave this project open for suggestions. So any of you who would like to send in your suggestions, send them to zerofossilfuel at gmail.com. That's all one word. Let's see. How is it going to read here? It should read, yeah, this way, zero, zerofossilfuel at gmail.com. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you're enjoying the project. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun messing around with this. Still losing sleep at night over some of the ideas that I want to try, and uh, I'll, get them, I'll get them all done. As always, please rate, share, comment, and subscribe, and peace. Instead of a pattern that looks like this, I will need a pattern that will take quite a while to slow down. Huh? Oh man! <laughs>